Tourism Day, a global observance that has been celebrated each year since 1980 by the United Nations World Tourism Organization. This specific date was chosen as on this day in 1970, the statutes of the UNWTO were adopted, a major milestone in global tourism. We celebrate this day to foster awareness about tourism's social, cultural, political and economic value and the contribution the sector can make towards the sustainable development of our societies. This year, the observance of this day is even more meaningful as we celebrate the resilience of the sector and the perseverance of you, the people. During the past two years, we endured restrictions and lockdowns put in place by governments around the world to control the spread of the COVID-19 virus. While we endured the economic hardship of the virus, this period also provided us with opportunities and a newfound appreciation for the industry. Tourism is a major driver of economic growth while creating jobs and opportunities with the market revenue in travel and tourism projected to reach 716 billion US dollars this year. In fact, tourism employs one in every 10 people on earth and provides livelihoods to hundreds of millions more. Tourism also plays a distinctive role in preserving and promoting natural and cultural heritage, which we see as a differentiating factor for our sister islands of St. Kitts and Nevis. In addition, we're aiming to capitalize on trends within the industry, specifically through a newfound focus on ecotourism and sustainability across our tourism sector. A 2022 survey by The Vacation of Found that more than 87% of US adults say sustainable travel is important to them. This past August, the Federation lifted its travel requirements and now welcomes all travelers regardless of vaccination status and will no longer require negative COVID-19 tests prior to arrival. All hotels on the islands are now open as well. Experiential tours and offerings are now operating at full capacity. Airlift from the US, Canada and UK will resume from the 2022-2023 season. These travel updates will not only encourage travelers to consider St. Kitts and Nevis for their next trip, but ensure it is top of mind. This year's theme for World Tourism Day, Rethinking Tourism, focuses on reimagining the sector's growth, both in terms of size and relevance, emphasizing the rebound of travel across the globe over the past two and a half years, as well as our aggressive plans to continue driving positive impacts in the year ahead. As I reflect on this theme, St. Kitts & Nevis is in a position to rethink our tourism products and refresh and repackage our existing offerings as we look towards the future. Innovation is key as we acknowledge what travelers are looking for and how our destination can remain competitive. To ensure that we merge as one of the top Caribbean destinations, we must work collectively to seize this opportunity and continue to position ourselves as a premier travel destination for visitors across the globe. In line with the refreshing and updating destinations messaging and offerings to attract tourists, the St. Kitts Tourism Authority launched a campaign rebrand earlier this month titled Venture Deeper. This new campaign truly reflects the ethos of St. Kitts, one that is authentic, magnetic, and soulful. We've shifted the branding, messaging, and visuals to evoke deeper ties to the island and celebrate discovery and curiosity as lifelong pursuits in travel. The Tourism Authority held an exclusive event in New York City last week to launch this new campaign to both media and the stakeholders. Attendees were able to fully immerse themselves in a full sensory experience, showcasing the Venture Deeper assets through sights, sounds, and textures. This campaign has resonated with many so far, 
and we are excited to see the continued positive reactions from travelers. As we continue to revisit and innovate our current tourism offerings, we are also keeping a close eye on travel shifts across the globe and how Senkits and Nevis can insert themselves within these current trends. One in particular which I mentioned earlier is that we are seeing ecotourism, agrotourism and sustainability as key points of interest from travelers. The Federation has already been working to create sustainable programs and councils including the Heart of St. Kitts Sustainability Charter, the St. Kitts Sustainable Destination Council, Sustainable Nevis, and the St. Kitts Eco Park. Our Federation is in a unique position to promote this type of tourism as the islands themselves house protected biodiversity and ecosystems, including the Central Reserve Rainforest in St. Kitts. This protected rainforest covers approximately 25% of the island and continues to grow and expand. In terms of travel accommodations, both islands offer green and eco-friendly options, including Wally Beach Resort in Nevis, who has received Green Globe certification, as well as Belmont Farm and Sunset Reef on Senkit. Belmont Farm continues to be a leader in the sustainability space sourcing as much as possible from the land, forest, and sea that surrounds the hotel. The new Sunset Reef has already received international recognition for its eco-friendly practices, boasting truly advanced geothermal technological management systems for energy. It also provides an eco-friendly sewage treatment plant and cleaning products, as well as a cutting-edge filtration system that provides guests with clean drinking water while eliminating plastic bottles. This is just the start of how sustainability and ecotourism will set Senkits and Nevis apart from the other Caribbean destinations. In addition, the destination saw an influx of cruise passengers and silver visitors throughout the summer months, especially with the return of the annual Senkits Music Festival in June and the Senkits and Nevis Restaurant Week in July. As the Federation continues to work towards the recovery of the tourism sector with the elimination of the travel requirements and the launch of a new brand campaign, we foresee the number of travelers visiting the destination to increase as we head into the winter months. The 2022-2023 season promises to be fruitful for the destination as positive sentiment towards travel returns. World Tourism Day is designed to pay tribute to this industry, encourage people to travel, and to honor those who do such a remarkable job working in the tourism sector. Throughout my last two months in this new position, I have certainly seen the relentless hard work and eagerness of the members of this important industry here in the Federation. I am indeed honored to lead this industry in this new chapter as we rethink our tourism offerings and continue to innovate to become a premier Caribbean destination. World Tourism Day is an opportunity to celebrate our achievements and the exciting opportunities that the future holds. The future for tourism in St. Kitts and Nevis is extremely bright. Thank you.